Hello and welcome. My name is Danny Rocks, the catalyst that the company rocks. I'd like to share my thoughts on using both statistics and stories when you communicate with your clients. Statistics are everywhere. They're easy to find and they're easy to use. Too easy. When we are talking to clients about our products and services, we need to build our case. We collect evidence, arguments, and reasonable proof that our products work, and frequently we will cite statistics to prove our point. But what does that really prove? That we can use an internet search engine to find our proof? That we can assemble the results of research and surveys into a brochure? That we can convince our customers to make a purchase based solely on our statistics? After all, the facts don't lie, or do they? Don't get me wrong. Reliable facts are important. In fact, many customers will make their purchasing decisions based solely on the facts, the facts that they can verify for themselves. In order to be persuasive, we need to help people to see our products, to see themselves or others using our products and services. We need, to paraphrase Aristotle, to give them a mental picture. We need to tell stories. When we use stories effectively, we help to bring our statistics to life. Stories help to motivate our customers, our audience, to take action. Stories help us to connect with our audience. Stories help our audience to connect with our products or our point of view. Because people connect with other people and stories can help them to visualize success. The success that comes as a result of using our products. In order to use stories effectively, you must follow the three P's. Stories must be pertinent, personal, and practiced. Pertinent. Your story must be relevant. It must pertain to the situation at hand. It must serve a purpose. Personal. Effective stories make personal connection with our audience. Tell them a story about someone that they know or know about. Tell them a story about someone just like themselves. Listen to your audience. They tell you stories all the time. Learn to use and adapt the stories that your customers share with you and with others in their group. Practice. In order to tell an effective story, you must practice it out loud to achieve the correct timing, the proper length, the proper tone of voice. Practice telling your story to your friends and family. Watch their reactions and ask for their feedback. Adjust your story accordingly. People will forget statistics, but they will remember your story if it is practiced, personal, and pertinent. Many people will buy with their heart and justify their purchase in their head. Give them both a good story to remember and real statistics to refer to.